see now. No screws on here anywhere. It's ultra thin. Uh, I guess that's one of the reasons why it's so easy to break. And uh, we're just going to try and unclip the, uh, just unclip the bezel, the inner bezel from the outer one. Uh, I like to use my fingernail for starters because sometimes that, that alone could unclip it and then the less breakage we have the better. It doesn't really matter if it's uh, going to break or not because it's already busted. So lucky for me, that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to try to use just a little jeweler's screwdriver and see if I can get somewhere with that. looks like it's all glued down so that's a good sign actually so I can get my fingernails underneath and just lift it off I can also use another screwdriver and just start prying along here and like I said it ain't gonna hurt anything just peel it all off on there pretty good. And there, once we got it all started, now we can start working it. I can tell the 3M tape is sticking to the camera cable so uh, hopefully that's not going to be wrecked <laughs> that'll suck but I think we're okay so I'll just keep on peeling keep on going Okay, so here we are, still working it, still, I'm just using a screwdriver to just lightly pry, just pry along here and, and you'll keep lifting that 3M tape off. Having a second screwdriver, definitely handy. Get that in there.
You can also use a uh, heat gun for this to uh, release the, the tape a little easier, but when you use the heat gun, this this part here is is metal, so it uh, it's going to heat up, and then you can't really use your fingers too much. So uh, this seems to be working pretty good. Not that big of a deal. And it's a good idea to peel it back, take a look in there, see what we got. Because just like the other side, they hit a, uh, a camera cable going along the inner bezel. It's glued down to the frame. So I want to be real careful not to, uh, not to break that. to the camera itself. Just keep keep applying pressure nice and slowly. Don't want to rip anything. point in the juncture it might be advisable to start peeling away the camera cable so you can pull back the uh, pull everything back and lucky for me the camera cable came out nicely and I'll be able to reattach it. This stuff is super gluey. Okay, we're at the next stage here. We've gotten the front bezel off. The camera cable is still intact. It's still somewhat glued on there. Uh, I haven't messed with it too much. Uh, now there's four screws at the bottom here. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to take this other kind of hinge bezel part off. Let's see what we got underneath here. Oh yeah, this is coming out nice and easy now. Okay, so we got that out. Uh, and it looks like here's the, uh, the screen attachment here, and it looks like it's, it's hard to tell, but I think that the inverter is attached to the screen, so... Gonna try and remove the screen now. And again, keeping in mind the screen's already toast, it's not gonna hurt any, hurt anything uh, removing more of it. So um, I guess it's just a matter of. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll start with the uh, the screen attachment here the inverter. Actually this is just the LED cable down here going into the bottom of here so I'm pretty sure that the inverter comes as one piece with the screen so I'm going to remove the inverter and wow they really glued it to it. <laughs> so they used a piece of cellophane tape and attached it to there so and nicely, it came apart no problem. Just quickly slid it down and it's out. 
So now I'm suspecting that the screen is more than likely glued to the chassis, so it's going to take some uh, craziness trying to remove that. Um, it's just going to be a matter of just get it out of here. fun trying to get this out of there. It's pretty flexible this board so you can work with it pretty good. Definitely released it, and yeah, the inverter is part of the, the uh, LED, so uh, it's going to be really just a, mount, a bunch of rip and destroy stuff going on now. I want to try and get it out of here as, in one piece as much as possible. Oh yeah, the screen is breaking into a million pieces here. But it's coming undone. three M tape, that's for sure. And like we have success but there is a little cable on the bottom of the inverter I neglected to take out but when you're careful things don't get ripped and just lift up a tab and release this inverter power cable and we're out that's it that's all But it doesn't look like that's all. Uh, there's a second piece to the LED. And it's the back of the LED that's still glued down on me. So we got to get that one out too. Okay. So let's keep on fudging it. Keep on working it. Got to come out. It's just a film that's in there. And here we go with that damn 3M tape again. It's like everywhere. And a 
Vox O Fine. Wow, that's some pretty weird looking fancy uh, film. Anyways, I like to keep the uh, parts for the customers just to show them what, you know, what they're paying for. Uh, and this is not all. There's still more in behind here. So we got to get this piece out now. It's coming out in layers. It doesn't want to give up. I'm just pulling back the 3M tape to reveal what is holding this in place. And it looks like these screens have little tabs on them. There. And once you get it back, you can peel it back. And that's still not it. There's another piece to go yet. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. Oh boy. This is interesting, to say the least. Trying to find a quick little entry point is challenging here because it's it's made to go exactly into the frame of this unit. And it looks like I got it started. Wow. This piece is not glass. It's just uh, some kind of plastic. I don't know what. But it's given me access to the very back of the unit. And again, you got to peel this up. And again, it's like really stuck to it with that damn 3M tape. Again, slowly bending it forward. Keep being really vigilant of any cables that may still be underneath there. It's coming off. There we go. Wow. There's not much to it. Uh, these LEDs are like, they could pump this out. Judging by all the plastic crap in here, they could pump these out for like a buck. That's it. We're we're out of here. We're we're done with uh, the removal of the screen. And now it's just a matter of uh, order screen and install. So uh, there you have it. Not definitely not fun to do, but has to be done if you want to get your uh, you want to see what you're doing. Uh, you can always work off of an external monitor, but uh, that's no fun. It's not really a laptop then. You may as well have a computer. So that's it. That's all. See you later.